Greetings friends. Watch Refrigeration News for Thursday, May 19, 2022 on our channel. Cubicle Compressor celebrates 60 years of experience in commercial refrigeration. Ir Gustav Lorentzen Conference, a draft of the detailed program is now available. NIRSC to open integrated cold chain facility in New Zealand. High efficiency carrier chillers selected for Manchester's new landmark building. How to improve your commercial HVACR business presence on the internet. Building HVACR business reputation from the ground up. Do's and don'ts. Greenpoint UK extends service to include remanufactured transcritical CO2 compressors. So, first news today. Cubicle compressors celebrate 60 years of experience in commercial refrigeration. On the occasion of the 60th anniversary of Cubicle Compressors, 30 reporters had the honor of visiting the factory of Cubicle brand compressors in Spain. 60 years ago, hermetic reciprocating compressors had broad demand prospects in the European light commercial refrigeration market. In 1962, Antoni Forlit founded Unidad Hermetica, the predecessor of the Cubicle brand, with a bold plan to build the largest production plant in Western Europe meeting European and global demand for the core components of refrigeration equipment. Read more the news on our website today. Second news today. Ir Gustav Lorentzen Conference, a draft of the detailed program is now available. The draft detailed program for the 15th Ir Gustav Lorentzen Conference on Natural Refrigerants is now available online. Note that small changes may occur until June 2022. See the draft. An exciting program with more than 150 oral and about 30 virtual poster presentations will be presented by experts and leaders from policy, industry and research. Read more the news on our website today. Third news today. NIRSC to open integrated cold chain facility in New Zealand. NIRSC continues to integrate end-to-end -end cold chains with the announcement of a new 45,000 square meters cold chain facility in the Waikato District, the fourth largest region in New Zealand. By integrating the state-of-the-art cold store with the depot and intermodal connections, NIRSC will provide better logistics solutions for both import and export customers, catering for their increasing needs for more efficient, tech-enabled and temperature-controlled supply chains. Read more the news on our website today. Fourth news today. High-efficiency carrier chillers selected for Manchester's new landmark building. High-performance carrier Aquaforce Vision 30 Cob air-cooled chillers delivering 2.4 megawatts of cooling have been selected to provide outstanding comfort and energy efficiency for Manchester Goods Yard, a new landmark building in the heart of Manchester's St. John's Regeneration Area. Three of the award-winning carrier chillers were installed by NG Bailey to support the development's Building Research Establishment Environmental Assessment Method BREAM, Rating of Excellent, and are used in combination with off-site modern methods of construction to reduce waste, improve quality and minimize the building's carbon footprint. Read more the news on our website today. Sixth news today. Building HVACR business reputation from the ground up. Do's and don'ts. On June 9, 2022 at 4 p.m. set time. For free. You will find out on the webinar how to understand the market, your competitors and prospect users understanding the target audience and user persona, creating messaging that resonates. Defining the communication channels to be used, their purpose and goals. Deep dive into the major ad channels, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn. Read more the news on our website today. Seventh news today. Greenpoint UK extends service to include remanufactured transcritical CO2 compressors. In a significant technical and commercial development, Greenpoint UK, Bitzer UK's specialist services arm, has extended its remanufacturing operation to include transcritical carbon dioxide-based compressors. Will Pribble, Greenpoint UK's general manager, said, and quote, we have been aware for a while of an emerging need among UK customers for a certified remanufactured option as a growing number transcritical CO2 units come to the end of their working lives. Read more the news on our website today. That's all. Share the news with your friends. Join Refrigeration Group on Facebook and LinkedIn.
Please find the links below.